show you this trick that will sort of make you feel like you are being pulled in in disbelief and blow your mind and I'll get straight into it now this video is also in 4k so if you want to see the tricks in the best quality for tingles then be sure to pop it on 4k 60 fps now for this trick what I need to do is I need to have you select a card now, this card can be any card we like. We're just going to take the deck, and I will have you just say stop as I peel off cards from the top of the deck, like so. And whichever card, you know, you go the Three of Spades or the Jack of Hearts. Let's go with the Four of Hearts. I think it's a pretty cool card, and we'll lose it in the deck, like so. Now I want you to watch as we perform the magic. see every card is now pink except for one card and that one card is your four of hearts but wait 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 we can make this even better let's take your four of hearts and just any random pink card like this one here and we'll just rub it together with the four of hearts and just like so it too turns into a pink card and there was no blue deck favorite decks. This is the Marbles playing cards. I think they're 
are just so fun and they look, you know, they've got an awesome design. The box is pretty cool. In fact, the box will play a little bit of a important role in the impossible tonight. Um, but for this trick, we're going to give this deck a good shuffle because I know a lot of you throughout the video tonight will probably be a bit skeptical, skeptical, skeptical about these tricks, but they're all legitimate, 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 giving it a good shovel. And for this trick, I actually need two very important cards to help me out with that. And they are two of my favorite cards, the Black Aces. Now, why the Black Aces? Well, firstly, the Aces are just awesome, aren't they? And the black ones, well, the spade is just so cool, and I love clubs, so I'm going to take these two aces, and we'll just pop them, pop them, just pop them up to the side, just for a little bit. They're going to stay up there for a little moment, because now what I need you to do is to go through the deck and pick out a card for me. So, of course, you're not here with me, but unfortunately, but we'll just say you're going to pick this card right here. We'll take a look at it together. It's actually fine if I see it. In fact, I need to know what it is for the trick. So your card is the Ten of Hearts. A pretty nice card. I do like the number ten. So let's set it in between the two aces and we'll keep it out to the side as well. It's not going to go anywhere. Don't worry. <laughs> no funny business. Um, and speaking of how the aces are really cool, I need the other two aces to help me out with this trick as well. Of course, being the two red aces. So we have, where are they? We have the ace of diamonds and the ace of hearts. What's your favorite suit? Or what's your favorite uh, four of a kind? Mine has to be the four aces. They're just, you know, super, super cool. And we'll set the rest of the deck down here just for the time being. So we have the two black aces up here and the two red aces here. We have the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds. Now we're going to use these aces to try and perform something pretty incredible. And the way this is going to work is we're going to take these aces and try and get your card to jump in between them. So way we're going to do this is take the Ace of Hearts, set it inside the box, and this is why you might think this is, you know, seemingly impossible. And I'll close up the box, give it a little tap for good luck, and set it up there. Now, let's go back to our three cards up here. We have our uh, Ace of um, Clubs, your card and the Ace of Spades, and if I remember correctly, I think your card was the, uh, was it the Ten of Hearts? Yeah, the Ten of Hearts. So, let's take, um, your card in between these cards, and we're gonna spread out the deck here, because we're gonna go back to the box here, where we're gonna try and transform your card to, and we're gonna take the cards, and we're just gonna go three, Two, one, and just like so, you'll see your card has disappeared from in between the two black aces. And where did we say they'd go? Well, if we take the box, give it a little shake. I definitely feel like there's an extra card in there. Should we take a look? Let's take a look together. So we have the ace of diamonds and the Ace of Hearts, and one card in between. And that one card is your Ten of Hearts. And that's why I love the four aces. So, you're not impressed yet? Well, my friends, I can guarantee you with this next trick that by the end of it, you're definitely going to be impressed. <laughs> And uh, speaking of this trick, we don't actually need the entire deck for this trick. As you just saw, we only need one, and I'm going to do this very slowly so you see I'm not cheating. We have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red cards. And then I'll spread these out here so you can count. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten random black cards from the deck. Could have picked any, but I just picked some that I thought looked pretty fun. And we'll set these black cards on the bottom of the red cards. Now, for this trick, we're going to split these cards into their two piles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over here. And the other ten. Over, well, we have the red pile and the black pile. Now we're going to play a bit of a game with these cards. We're going to test if the colors will stay within their separate piles, which, I mean, at the moment is pretty easy. We have, of course, the red pile over here. And, in fact, I'm, I'm going to pick a special card for each pile. So I think for this pile, I'm going to go with the King of Hearts. I think it's a pretty cool card, and it's going to be known as the Leader card of the red pile. Then over here we have, uh, well I would go with the ace of spades but we used that for the last trick so let's go with the six of clubs. I think that's a, a pretty cool card and it's friend here. The six of spades is also in this pile. Um, and let's turn over the black pile. So we have the black pile and it's leader card, the, the black six of clubs. And then we have the red pile and it's leader card, the red king of hearts. And the game we're going to do is this. We're going to see if the cards, if we turn them over one at a time, if they will stay in their piles, the reds and the blacks. So let's take a look. Oh, so far so good. Let's see, next card, still red and black, nice. Next card, still red and black. What's that? You're not so impressed. Oh, I guess that would make sense. I mean, that's the black pile, that's the red. Well, how about, let me switch the piles. And we'll see if they still follow their leader cards. Let's take a look. They do. Let's see if they can continue to do it while they are. This is pretty awesome. Right, well, maybe it's just the piles. Let's switch the leaders this time. Let's take them over and set them over here. Remember, the red bow and the black bow were previously switched. Let's find out. It's still working. I hope you're impressed now, final card. And it even did it with the final card. And if that hasn't impressed you, well, you may have noticed up here the entire trick, there's been a little paper clip. <laughs> We're going to switch these cards one final time. And I'm going to put the paper clip on the black card, like so, so you can see. The paper clip is on the black card. And we're going to take that and set it in front of the red pile. And set the red card in front of the black pile. And for one final time, I'm going to click my fingers. And you'll see that the cards still follow their pile. How amazing is that? If you have made it to this point in the video, then welcome. Welcome to our interactive, interactive, interactive trick of the night. Now, this trick is really fun and will only work if you pay very close attention and um, follow my instructions very, very carefully because we're going to play a little bit of a game. Now, the game we are going to play is, well, as you can see, I have an array of cards in front of me. In fact, I have 12 cards with the numbers 1 through to 12. Now in this case, Ace is going to represent the number 1, Jack 11, Queen 12, and every other number, just the number that they are. Now here's how this game is going to work. What I would 
would like you to do is in your head right now, I want you to think of one of these 12 cards. They can be any card you want, whichever one you feel most drawn to. Just think of it. And what I would like you to do is to place your finger over the card that you are thinking of, just over your screen right now. Don't worry, I can't see. Now, now if you've got your finger over the Ace of Spades, that's too obvious. Try something else. <laughs> Okay, have you chosen a card? Great. Because now we're going to commence the game. So, to begin with, what I would like you to do is to move up or down or left or right the number of times that your card is. So, for example, if you are over the four, you would move four times and you can go up, down, left or right. So, let's say you went one, two, three, then four. That's completely fine. You can't go down on a four though because it's at the bottom, so you'd have to start by going up, left, or right. So please move the number of times of the card that you are on. now quickly and keep going. So I'm gonna try and make this a little easier for us and I'm going to slowly narrow down to the card that I think you're on. Well firstly I don't think you're on let's say the seven of clubs. So I'll set that aside. Now whichever card you're on now it's Maybe a new card from the one you started on. Maybe it's the same one. Again, what I would like you to do is move up, down, left or right the number of the new card you are on. So even if you started on the 4, for example, and now you're on the 9, you would move 9 times. And remember, up, down, left or right. But if you're on one of these cards, you cannot move to this empty spot because there's no card. So please move. No. Alrighty. Are you done? Again, if not, feel free to pause throughout this trick. Um, Alright, I'm going to move a few more cards. Let's go with the five. I don't think you're on that. And let's go with, why not, the nine of diamonds. Okay, so things are going pretty well. I hope if you're still with me, means you're still on one of these, what, um, nine cards we have left. Now look at the card that you're on now. Look very closely at it. Is it a red card or is it a black card? If you are on a red card, again, I would like you to move and spell red. So move three times, spelling the word red. And again, you can go up, down, left, or right. But if you're on a black card, I want you to spell black. So B-L-A-C-K, which would be five times. Please do this now. Okay, I'm going to remove...
Okay. Are you done? So, I'm going to remove another card. I'm going to remove the ace, I think. So, no, we have four cards left. Which means two thirds of the cards are gone. Going pretty well. I'm going to remove another card. And whichever card I remove, I want you to move that number of times. So let's remove the three. I don't think you're on the three. So what I would like you to do now is move up, down, left or right from the card you're on three times. Hopefully you've done that. I'm going to remove one final card now. just a 50-50 choice um, of which card you're on. Hopefully you're on one of these two cards. And I'm going to remove one final card. And that card is going to be the two. And I think you are on the jack of diamonds. Is that right? Amazing. I'm so glad it worked. In fact, I was so sure that you were going to land on that jack that it was the only card this entire time that was not a red playing card. Now, I hope that interactive trick has really sent you to sleep. For my next trick, by the way, how cool is that? <laughs> this is such an awesome deck. Um, where was I for this next trick? I am going to perform something truly amazing that is hopefully going to, you know, make you believe in magic. And in fact, this trick is uh, really, really simple. It's a trick that I have been doing on all my friends and family a lot lately. It's one of my go-to card tricks due to how easy and simple it is to perform. Yet, it will make people believe in magic. I'm telling you. And for this trick, I usually like to teach you guys how a trick is done. But tonight, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to the magician's code and not tell you how it's done. Unless, if you are a channel member, one of my beautiful YouTube members, as you can see on screen right now, then, right after this video, I will post a tutorial on how this trick is done, and there'll be a link to that video in the description if you're a member. But if you're not a member, and would like to learn exactly how this amazing trick is done, trust me, you're gonna want to after you see it. Then, why not consider becoming a member with the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the trick. And with this awesome deck, which by the way is called the Serpent Playing Cards, let's get into it. Now I've popped the box off to the side because this trick is um, a prediction trick. I'm actually going to need to predict a card that will come into play a little bit later on in the trick. And as you can see, I'm shuffling the deck. Now if I had a spectator with me, they do could shuffle the cards. That's what's even like better about this trick. However, I need to make a prediction, and I do not want you to see it. So, let's go through. And I'm going to take this card here. I think it looks pretty good. Now, I don't want you to know what it is, so I'm going to pop it inside the box. You can see there's only one card in there. And I'm going to set it just up here for the remainder of the trick. Now, if I had my spectator with me, I mean, I'm going to have to do this for you guys, but I would say to them, what I would like you to do is start dealing down cards until you feel, you know, you've got a decent amount of cards, as many as you like. And, you know, in fact, they can deal the cards from the middle if they wish. They could deal multiple cards, they can, you know, three cards, two cards, they could even go back and take some cards, they could go from the bottom and take some cards, whenever they feel like it, 
just stop and I would remove the remainder of these cards. Now I'm gonna take the cards back, give them, you know, a good little jumble, like so, and I'll say to them, right, what I would like you to do is take these cards and deal them into two piles, left and right. So they'll go left, right, left, right. Now the reason we're doing this is one of these piles is going to represent a value of a card and the other pile is going to represent the suit of a card. We're going to have the value and the suit. In this way we're going to generate a random card from the entire deck. It may be in one of these piles, it may not be. So let's take a look. So this is the value we have the do. And this is going to be the suit and we have a diamond, so a random card is the two of diamonds, so that's our selected card. Now, some of you may be remembering I made a prediction earlier, and you can probably see where this is going. We remember we shuffled the deck. I promise you my spectator could have picked out the cards. We mixed them up. But yet, the one card I predicted was the two of diamonds. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, remember, if you want to become a channel member, um, then you can learn exactly how this trick is done. So you have made it to the final trick in this video. And you're still not asleep. Well, I can guarantee you, my friends, that by the end of this trick, you will definitely be asleep. Because this trick is so relaxing so tingly. I mean, just listen to the shuffling sounds. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. We're gonna take this deck and we're gonna pick two random cards from it. And these can be any two cards. Let's say we'll go for this one here. And this one here, there's no way I would have known before we started that we would have picked these. And these two cards just so happen to be the Nine of Spades and the Queen of Diamonds. Great cards, great cards. And we're going to lose them somewhere in the deck, with the deck face down, like so. Now, for this trick, I need to split the deck into two piles. We're going to have pile number one and pile number two, like so. And for this trick, usually I'd have a spectator to help me, but I would say to them to pick up the packet. And we're going to cut off about half of the cards and set them face down. Because what we're going to do is I would like you to cut this deck in half, or this packet in half, let's say, like right there. Look at that, two threes. And I'm going to set the rest of the face down cards in between the two threes, like so. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to cut about half the deck, set it face up. And you can cut this packet whatever you like. Oh, look at that, two fives. I guess extra magical. And we'll put this face down packet in there. Pop that on top. So we have some face up cards, some face down, then some face up. And then the same over here, some face up, face down, face up. And we'll pop these two piles together. So we have a bit of a mess. Some face up, some face down. But all I have to do is press my hands on top. And you will see that if I take the deck and spread it out, all the cards turn face up, except for one, two cards, and they are your nine of spades and the queen of diamonds. Well, everybody, that is going to just about wrap up the show tonight. I hope you have enjoyed all the tricks that we had tonight. Some of my favorite tricks at the moment to perform were done in this video, including that last trick, so I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, then be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up. Why not comment down below what your favorite trick was? And if you think you know how one is done, then feel free to comment as well.
so very much for your support and for watching tonight's video. I hope at least one of these tricks could have given you tingles and blown your mind. It's all just a bit of magic at the end of the day. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you sleep.